I don't know if you can tell by, but I am actually really poor, again. <laughs> uh, this has a hole in it, this dress, you can't tell where the, <laughs> and I, I was not poor, I was poor when I was younger, and then I made a really good living, and now I'm poor again. And so, it's not all bad right at first. Like at first, people come up to you and they're like, oh wow, you're so thin, what diet are you on? And you're like, oh thanks, poverty. <laughs> but as a mom, it's not great because you want to make nice meals for your family, right? But your food ingredients are so limited. You know, so it's like every day I feel like I'm on a cooking show competition, you know, like, like welcome to Top Chef, poverty edition. <laughs> what have you prepared? Oh, so I'd be like, oh yes, um, for your amuse-bouche, <laughs> I've made a tomato bisque using six McDonald's ketchup packets. <laughs> Two room temperature coffee creamers, um, boiled and stirred with the same tiny pink plastic spoon nipped from a nearby Baskin Robbins. Wonderful. Dessert? Mm, uh, Splenda. <laughs> Just Splenda. <laughs> so I, I'm going to confess something. I am an addict. I am addicted. Uh, I'm a people pleaser to the extreme. Like I just, I can't say no. I, that also probably makes me a little bit of a slut. But um, <laughs> I heard that if you deal with your addiction straight on and you recognize it, it's good. So here's what happened just recently. So I volunteer at a nursing home and I'm tucking the covers over this really frail, really just old man, like 99, 100 years old. And he reaches up and he grabs my bosom, one of them, my bosom. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. And he, he looks at me and he goes, oh, come on, give a little, I'm dying here. But I still, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. And then he goes, I was in the war. So, you know, I, I gave. <laughs> it was for the troops, you guys. 